Hello everyone, so you've got your footage, now what? Well quick, make a backup. You need at least one copy of all of your footage and sound. I like to have at least two copies, but you definitely need at least one. The last thing you want is to lose all of your footage and that hard work that you've done. Make at least one backup or copy of everything you've shot and recorded, that sound and video, and keep it in a safe place. If you lose it, you lose it. And chances are, depending on time and money, you might not be able to go back and shoot it. Going further, make sure to keep everything organized. I can't stress this enough. I am big on organization. You probably have hundreds or even thousands of files to deal with. That's footage or sound like music and sound effects and then logos, graphics, so much more. The last thing you want is to have to sift through all of those files to find what you need or have someone else do it and then they call you because they can't figure out where it is. That extra time will add up and that can slow your production down by days or even weeks or more. For me, I have three main folders for each of my films. Assets, Documents, and Projects. Assets contain exactly that. Assets. This covers footage, audio such as music, sound effects, and voiceover, graphics such as photos, logos, and more. Documents. This usually contains scripts, schedules, notes, and more. And lastly, projects. This is where I will save my editing projects and exports. I edit on Adobe Premiere, so every time I save my progress, I will save it in the Projects folder in the Premiere folder. And when I export my film, or render it out into a video, I will save that here in the Deliverables folder. This is how I do it, but that's not how you have to do it. You should find a way that works for you. Plus, years later, if you ever go back to the film, as I've had to do plenty of times before, you know exactly where everything is without even having to think about it. Good file organization is a hallmark of professional filmmakers all across the world, and it's a very good habit to have. So start now and figure out a way that works best for you to find everything, keep it organized, and make your production run smoothly. And now that you have your project backed up and you have your files organized, you're ready to start editing. Once you've opened your editing program, you need to start a new project. From there, you can title your film and then save it into the appropriate folder. As I said, I'm using Adobe Premiere, so this is the example you're seeing now. Once you've opened your editor, you will need to import your assets, footage, and audio into the project. Create bins for your assets to stay organized in your project. Bins are basically folders within your project that help you keep organized, just like on your desktop. You should also make a sequences bin. A sequence is a collection of all of your clips that you've edited together. To create a new sequence in Premiere, right click, new item, sequence. Then you can name it, and then hit OK. Then drag it and drop it into your sequence folder. Double click it and you will open up your timeline. From there, you're ready to drag and drop your clips into your timeline and get to cutting. In Premiere, I have two basic layers, footage on top and then audio on bottom. That way I can stack audio and footage on top of each other depending on my needs. Once you have at least two clips onto your timeline, you're able to start cutting. To do that, First click the cut icon, or razor tool, and cut your clips as desired. Then click on the selection tool, remove the parts you don't need, and then place your clips together. Then you can press play or space bar on your keyboard. Recording is Finn Fisher. Oh. 
and now you have a film. But how do you do transitions? Depending on your editing program, you should have preset transitions available for you to use. You can place two clips side by side and then drag and drop your transitions between them for a creative way to go from one clip to the next. Open your effects window. Your editing program should have plenty of preset transitions for you to use. Simply click and drag your transition onto your timeline. Then click play again and watch your transition in action. In order to make a title card, simply click on the type tool and then click on your video where you would like your text to appear. In Premiere, you can then see your title on screen and on your timeline. Click and drag your title where you'd like it. Once you've selected your music, import it into your project and then drag it onto your timeline. You can cut and edit it as needed and even apply transitions to the music as well. And now you have a film. Click play and watch your hard work. Once you're happy with your film, simply export your film or render it out into a video by going to File, Export, Media. Depending on your editing program, there might be a different way, but the concept is still the same. When you click Export, you will be given many different options with which to export your film. Many times, film festivals like Film Price Junior will have specific instructions on what settings to use, but there are always handy presets for YouTube, Facebook, and more. To keep it simple, for YouTube, the basic setting is H.264, then simply select YouTube. Make sure to save your film where you would like to have it saved, and when you're ready, click Export. And now we're done. It's time to show your movie to the world. Awesome guys, I'm really excited and I hope that this basic introduction to editing really helped you and your film. Don't forget that on YouTube you can always find basic tutorials for all of your editing programs to help you bring your film to the next level. I'm really excited to see your films and I want to wish you all good luck and feel the Film Prize Junior!